hello, 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 hello to all my beautiful women and lovely men. As usual, thank y'all so much for rocking out with me. And the point of this video, what I, why I want to do this video is more so a little bit about my feminine routine. I've never really posted a video like that and everyone, every female or lady will have something different about the certain things they do about their hygiene. So that's my main point of this video. I'm trying my best to where I'm trying this thing to where I don't want none of my videos to exceed seven minutes. <laughs> I don't want videos to be like seven minutes or less. So this video is going to be about that and a little bit of randomness. First and foremost, big congratulations to um, LK on receiving his CDL. And I'm very, very excited for you. Congratulations. I wish you the best with everything you pursue. And the other gentleman, um, RB, I'm not sure whether you have received your CDL already or whether you're in training right now to get your CDL, but whatever the case may be, congratulations to you, and I'm really excited for you, and I wish you the best. And another woman, um, your name starts with an L, and congratulations to you. <laughs> I'm really excited for you, and I wish you nothing but the best with all that you pursue, all of y'all. Like, if you coming out here for your CDL, or whatever case may be, live up to your dreams, live up to your expectations, live up to your goals. So I'm telling you, life is too goddamn short to be playing these games. Life is you sitting there and just playing around and playing like hardball with your life. Life could literally, what would you be without life? Nothing. So either you live up to your expectations, you live up to your goals now or never. Because at the end of the day, you don't play with your life I want to say that and one of the um, biggest tips that I have is um, there's a video called apex um, CDL Institute a uh, class a pre-trip it's one of the best pre-trip videos by um, apex CDL Institute it's about an hour long so definitely some of y'all might not be able to watch the whole hour clip but definitely looking into it because the uh, man who speaks on the terms in the video, he has a clear voice and he seems very, very knowledgeable and I think it's a great video, for real. The other thing is, um, oh man. <laughs> I definitely want to start off by saying I'm not always hyped, okay? It's unrealistic for someone to be hyped every day, every hour, every minute, every time and I honestly don't know what life would be like if I was like that, but I'm definitely not like that and I'm like that a lot more so whenever I'm tired or sleepy and I'm extra giggly and extra goofy and I don't know why but that's when I'm like when I'm tired or exhausted or like sleep deprived that's when I'm extra bubbly <laughs> okay so I'm in New Jersey and the weather is nice and I'm ready to go nothing against New Jersey though but I'm just I've been on this load for like I think I feel, it feels like forever so I'm just ready to go home seriously and again, nothing against the jury, so I'm gonna get into that. So my feminine routine revolves more about, revolves more around, um, I try my best to shower every day. If I can't shower every day, well, let me give y'all some scenarios. So say if I shower on a Monday, Monday morning, and I can't shower, the next time to where I can shower, to where I'm on the load and I'm not really like playing too much around with my time, the next time I'll shower is like Tuesday night. And say if I'm, stuck at a shipper or receiver, whatever the case may be, come Wednesday, I can't shower at all. Um, I'm not with wiping down myself with baby wipes. Uh, we can get into that, but I don't knock anyone who uses baby wipes. It's up to your own discretion on what you use, what you do, your routine. Everyone's different. But when it comes to if I don't use baby wipes, um, someone had mentioned to me about a bird bath, and it's pretty much you have a jug of water or a gallon of water. In this case, this is empty. And you pretty much use, you fill it up with water and I prefer soap and water, preferably. <laughs> and I use my handy dandy sponge. Yes, that I'm not big on rags like that. So this sponge, you get it from an African market and a decent African market at that. And if you ever looked into something like this, it's gonna look like Brillo pads. It's gonna be really, really hard and really, really tough. And to, in order to like kind of dissect it, you pretty much um, boil it in hot water. The hot water will um, kind of disinfect or get rid of all the bacteria and trust me you'll notice in the hot water <laughs> when it's ready 
So I use this along with my soap and water and my jug um, to clean myself if I cannot go without out of shower. My trainer emphasized on the fact that oh, it's gonna be some days to where you might not be able to be able to get a shower, and I was like, okay. So it, and I've noticed that it's sometimes to where you're really really tight on a load to where you might be stuck somewhere on a load because people playing around with your time. So that's that. When it comes to using the restroom. I honestly do not knock anyone who pees in a cup because there's no shame in my game. I'm not that prideful to where I can't pee in a cup because say if I'm in a situation to where I'm at a shipper receiver and there's no restrooms available and like it's truck one to my left and truck um, two to my right and say if, if I pulled in the lot and you peep game, you notice when like people pay extra attention to you. I'm not gonna put myself in a dip. I'm, I'm not gonna put myself in, in a predicament to where I'm gonna step out of my truck and go under my trailer and squat or go on my catwalk and pee. I'm not doing that. So I pee in a cup. I get cups from Walmart. Whenever I go to Walmart, I just get um, styrofoam cups and I dispose of them every day. And literally that's when I can use the baby wipes, okay? So the baby wipes I feel like come to play on that level. <laughs> when it comes to having the bowel movement, I don't eat. My stomach and I are in an agreement. <laughs> I don't eat certain things that's gonna like play around with my stomach or give me the bubble guts. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it to myself. I eat certain things to where if I know if I'm driving, um, it'll just sustain me. I'll eat certain things to sustain me throughout my route. But when it comes to like heavy, solid, seriously solid type stuff, no, I'm not gonna put myself in jeopardy when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, so that's that. Some people are, are comfortable with going under the trailer, squatting, and having a bowel movement. That's perfectly fine. That's you. And um, I can say definitely in cases like that to where you wanna um, kinda just take care of your stomach, have some Pepto-Bismol. Pepto-Bismol don't never hurt. And for those women who knock in other women or find it disgusting or crazy or insane that other people other women can pee in a cup and I, this is this example stems from this whenever you're getting a real drug test and it's not a blood sample it's not a hair follicle it's actually a urine analysis the, the tool that you're using to um, squat is a mini cup that you have to pee in and back going back on the whole pee in the cup I'm not about to go squat and have something fly up my vagina and then it's gonna be irritation and then I'm be and then this frustration and then I'm be mad that I put myself in that situation um no I'm not gonna do it to myself and I definitely don't believe in putting myself in jeopardy when it comes to stuff like that so that's the whole peeing aspect when it comes to the baby wipes, um, say if I am using the restroom, like I said, I'll use that for, I use the baby wipes for that, I'll use the baby wipes to kind of wipe up my face in case my face is like super, super oily. Um, also, um, I don't think I really have a routine. Um, <laughs> it's, I, whenever I don't shower, I notice that my, it bothers my mind. Like it irritates my soul so bad. Like seriously, some people can go some days without showering and I honestly don't think that, I mean, hey, it's your prerogative whether you want to shower or not. But some people go days without showering and I'm not with the whole, no, I'm not with that. So, I guess that's my, that's the things that I do for me to feel cleansed. It's nothing really big about that. So my other random note is, if you um, are your own, with your own truck, have some disinfectant wipes. Yes, they smell good. I'm big on fragrances, so definitely air pressure don't help, don't hurt. Uh, white tea lily, uh, clean linen, uh, cashmere woods, tray blossom. Air fresheners does not help. So, I mean, does not hurt. What am I trying to say? Air freshener does not hurt. Um, so, now we can go into like my random stories for a fruit. It's two scenarios, two cases. So being out in New Jersey, I got out here um, like maybe eight, nine, nine o'clock. Now my appointment is five o'clock in the morning, okay? And this is where the discombobulated, um, out of whack sleeping cycle comes into play. So I signed in with the guard or whatever. And after I signed in, I was like, okay, so he, we were done chopping it up. 
So after I left, so I was like, so you don't need my number for you to call me whenever I'm ready to get into the door? And he was like, oh no, we're gonna call you on the CP radio. I was like, I don't have a CP radio, so what do you want me to do? He's like, okay, you can just come back and walk up to the window around 12, um, 12.30, 12.45. And all I could think about was like, Lord D, all I wanna do is just get off this load. Cause it's due at five o'clock in the morning. So I'm like, please let me just get in at like at least one o'clock. And I know I'm like being wishful <laughs> right now, but one o'clock. So I was in the um, little waiting area and it's a whole bunch of men around and I'm just like looking extra random. <laughs> and I don't know, something happened. I guess something great happened and I ended up getting into a doctor literally at like between 12.40 and one o'clock. It was amazing. <laughs> And I got unloaded and I left there around maybe between 3.30 and 4 o'clock, literally, while my appointment was at 5 o'clock. So at this point, I recommend some of you all, if you don't have a CP radio, and my trainer told me, make sure you get a CP radio. And the main reason why I don't have a CP radio, because I feel like, um, as other drivers have been telling me who work for Stevens, a lot of men get up on that radio and talk a lot of shit about women and say a lot of degrading things, and I'm not for it. So I don't really wanna, I'm not for it. So at this moment, I don't have one, but I recommend in case if you want one, it's important to have. And especially when it comes to situations where there's hazards on the highway and there's trucks behind you who can't see and who don't wanna use their four way flashers to indicate there is a hazard on the highway. Yes, the, one of the best things is about this is sending a higher vehicle to where you can see like distance ahead. Seriously, no BS. And everyone, every driver does not use their four-way flashers and every driver does not have a CB radio to get on the radio to be like, hey, it's a hazard, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so that's that. Um, when it comes to the workflow app on your Qualcomm to where you're getting your load assignments and all that, please, please, as human nature, people make mistakes when it comes to addresses. People make mistakes when it comes to um, phone contact information. Do your own little snoop type work. <laughs> Um, so save your post for delivering at 5000 Industrial Avenue and on your assignment it says Okay, so on your assignment it says Industrial Avenue, but you're actually supposed to be delivering to like 3000 Bellevue Drive Okay, people make mistakes and there are a lot of cities or a lot of city names Associated with many different states like one example Arkansas. No, Nashville, Arkansas, and then they have um Nashville, Tennessee, in this case. And I know there's a whole bunch more that I can't really think of right now, but definitely, definitely, you don't have to do it. But it's always helpful and beneficial, I think, to kind of look up on your um, places of where you're dropping at and yeah. <laughs> so that's that. Um, the other thing is, so when I end up going to my next job, Lord have mercy. <laughs> this lady, this beautiful woman, Yes, she is. And like when I got there, as soon as I walked in, I'm always like kind of assessing the situation to see whether this person is going to be extra rude to me or extra mean or whatever the case may be. So this beautiful woman was very interested in the fact and idea that I was another young lady who was driving trucks. And long story short, I'm not going to go into full detail. My appointment for that was 2:30 after my New Jersey. Um, drop and all I could think and I got there at 7 o'clock in the morning so we were chopping it up we were discussing we were getting to know each other and she was very 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 sweet to me and this woman changed my appointment time to 12 so basically the driver or whatever unfortunate driver would get my 2 30 and I got that driver's 12 o'clock so I ended up going to sleep taking a nap because I was hella tired and I had someone coming up knocking on the door at like 10 something I was I got in the door literally hours before it was time for me to um, get loaded and it was the best feeling ever. She was sweet, she was polite, she told me not to really say anything so I don't even want to call out the state and the name of the place but she was amazing and I could tell that she honestly does that. That's not, she don't do that um, once. I think, think she does that for real, for real. Um, she was amazing, she was sweet and that's that. So, Again, I said at the beginning of the video, if you keep on contemplating and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking about making moves and doing certain things with your life, life is too goddamn short. <laughs> I'm telling you, life is too short to be playing games about things that you know it's not going to always be there forever. 
Like you, you dwell on certain situations. If you want to sit there and think about, look, I can't, I can't do this, or what if this, or what if that. I'm telling you, stop thinking about stuff like that. If you're a woman, especially, you can come out here and not be associated with certain things that may bring you down. But <laughs> come out here and do the damn thing. Seriously, you can come out here and do the damn thing. I think it's the best thing ever, and I'm enjoying myself. I don't know if everyone else will have the same experience that I will have. <laughs> but I'm enjoying myself and I'm enjoying meeting some of the people that I'm meeting because I feel like they're making my experience a little bit better for me. And this video exceeded hella longer than what I anticipated. But as always, for all those people who have left the comment, for all those individuals who have um, subscribed to me, either like, I guess whether you dislike, I feel like women rule the world, for real, <laughs> like for real, but, and watch somebody dislike this video, <laughs> no offense to nobody, but seriously, women can be in control of their situation if they make the best out of their situation, everybody ain't like that, <laughs> so I'm telling you, let's get this bread, <laughs> and I thank y'all all for tuning in with me, and if I think of anything else, I'll leave it in the description box, y'all all be safe.